Ooh. I got three hours sleep last night and then I woke up with a really bad migraine. So I'm currently trying to get over that. And I had so many plans for today and I was gonna try and go to the gym, I was gonna do it, yeah, nothing's happening. I thought I'd try and film this video because I tried to film this video straight after filming my 2017 kind of review video. But Dexter was a bit poorly and I was really worried about her and I filmed like the intro like about five times. I'll insert the footage here. I know, it's so cute. I don't, darling, what's wrong with your chest? Dexter, what's wrong? she kept coughing so I think she's had like a cold or a cough or something she's a million times better now she had a stitch out yesterday and she's doing really well but yeah I tried decided to stop trying to film and focus on just cuddling her and just resting so today I'm gonna film this video this video being my kind of 2018 it's not like New Year's resolutions because I don't really agree with New Year's resolutions if there's something that you want to change I think putting it off until the new year is a bit of a cop-out um, it's the same as like oh the diet starts Monday I'm gonna do this then you know not that I'm saying I've never done any of these things or kind of put things off I don't like New Year's anyway I've had a really traumatic New Year's a couple of years ago New Year's Eve a few years ago and I've never really been a fan of it that being said there are some things that I want to focus on it's not necessarily like in 2018 but it's kind of the things that I've been trying to focus on anyway, but I'm going to make a priority this year and obviously some of it is very relevant this year as we'll find out. So I'm going to get started. The first one is kind of obvious and that is be the best mum I can be. Obviously I'm due to give birth in, um, I'm actually approaching my third trimester now, so I'm going to give birth very soon. Yeah, about 12 weeks time, which sounds a lot, but it's going to go really quickly and I'm very anxious about my, not about my, my ability to be a mum but about what I will be like and how I will cope and I have no idea how to look after a newborn baby. Luckily I'm with somebody who has had a newborn baby so you know I'm not going in blind and I think you kind of do learn as you go along and your baby is unique to you and you kind of get your own little rhythm going. But yeah I want to be the best mum I can be to my little girl. Not just to my little girl but to Dexter as well like I want to be the best doggy mum I can be which sounds really stupid but it's important to me because she is like another child to me so it's important to me that she gets the best care I've obviously been giving her the best care anyway but you know with a newborn baby coming she might feel a bit left out so I want to make sure that she doesn't feel left out and that she knows that she's not being ousted anyway yeah I want to be the best mum I can be the next one is it's something that I always try but I know that I need to make more of an effort now and that is save as much money as possible because I've had no money to save since like the end of the summer like September I've been living in my overdraft I've not been able to save any money um, in fact I've had to spend all of my savings to kind of pay for I had to pay for the garden to buy baby stuff just to pay my bills really um, now that like Christmas is out of the way and things should theoretically be a bit better financially and when the baby's born as well we won't be buying any of the like big equipment so I want to try and save as much money as, as I can to have some savings for her. It sounds really silly, but when you have no money, you have to end up doing things more expensively. Like I've not had money to do like a big food shop and things in bulk that would save money, like toilet roll and kitchen towel and that sort of thing, which sounds really boring and grown up. So you end up kind of going to like little shops that sell things um, just to do like a little shop and they tend to be more expensive than if you do a bigger shop. I'm gonna try and do like a big-ish shop like once a fortnight and then once a week or whenever I need to just kind of stock up on little things kind of be more financially secure and just I say I could say more aware but I'm always aware of money but just now that I have some money I can invest to save if that makes sense the next two are kind of related um, the first one being relax more <laughs> This is very important when you're pregnant and especially important when you're kind of, when you become a new mum. I've had some trouble the last few weeks with my mental health 
Uh, my mood has been very low. My anxiety has been really bad. It means that I don't really let myself relax. I'm one of those people that if I know that I'm doing something, say it's like in the morning, if I know, know I'm doing something at four o'clock in the afternoon, I can't rest because I know that I'm having to go out and I don't want to rest and then get up again. So like, if I know that I'm doing something, I just, I feel very het up and I know that I need to sort that out and chill out a lot more because it's not healthy for me and it's not, it's, there's no reason to be like that. You know, I'm not saying I want to be completely laid back and lazy, but I do need to kind of relax more and chill out more and give myself a bit of a break. As I said, it kind of goes on to the next thing, which is put myself first. I have not been someone that finds it easy putting myself first. I still don't. Um, the reason I need to try and do that is because obviously there is a baby inside me and when the baby is out, I'll be kind of looking after that baby and you can't look after a baby if you're not looking after yourself. And I, for my whole life, I have, sorry, there's a man with a chainsaw next door and he's making a lot of noise, if that's what you can hear. I've never been somebody that can put myself above other people. Um, obviously, you know, thinking about others is a really good thing to do, but to me, it's been a detrimental thing. I don't feel that I am worth thinking about what I want and what I need and putting my value above anything else, so I don't. And I need to, and I know that I need to, and I have been getting a bit better at that, but nowhere near as much as I need to be. The next thing is to keep on top of tidying. Like, I live in a bungalow, so it's kind of all one floor, um, which should make things easier, but when you have a kind of ailing physical health and disabilities and also kind of mental health problems, you know, sometimes you just don't feel like doing things. I do struggle keeping on top of the tidying. I've been working really hard for the last sort of 10 days trying to do as much as I can to get it to kind of like a start in place where I can keep it tidy rather than tidying up because it's easier to keep something tidy when it's already tidy to begin with. Um, so I have been working hard doing that and it is getting there. You know, I'm six, almost seven months pregnant. I have a puppy that likes eating everything and running around and jumping on everything and destroying stuff. And I'm in a lot of pain all of the time with various different things. Um, I have very low energy levels and there are things that I'm really, I'm struggling to bend down now. I'm getting to that point of being pregnant where I'm struggling to bend down. And it's kind of doubly hard for me because I'm in a lot of pain as well as having a stomach in the way. So I wanna try and keep on top of tidying. When I can get to a place where the house is tidy, then oh, I'm hoping I'll be able to keep it tidy or will be able to keep it. The next two are kind of like personal ones and very creative ones. It's all very well, you know, saving money and keeping tidy and put yourself first, but you need also, well me, I need that kind of creative nourishment and fulfillment um, because I am a creative person. The next one is to write more. I have not updated my blog in a very long time. Uh, if you didn't know, I do have a blog and there's like a lot of posts on there because I went through a period, I was just uploading, I was just writing and then I uploaded them all in one go. So there's about 30, 35 odd posts from sort of 2015, no 2016, uh, 2015 and 2017, there's a few. But yeah, I want to try and write more. I love writing, I find it a great outlet and I love creating a... A blog post and I love I love just writing in general so I do want to make the time to do that more not make the time just when you don't feel great physically or mentally sometimes you're just like no the reason that my blog has kind of slipped by the wayside is because I've been focusing on YouTube videos which I want to do and I want to carry on doing especially now that I've got two channels I'm thinking up content for both and thinking up content for a blog as well like a lot of a lot of the content that would go on this channel my ace my A to Z of my mental head channel uh, would be similar to what would go on my blog and I like making videos because what well, a pe more people see it not in a oh I want everyone to see me and listen to me but because I like reaching as many people as possible because I feel like what I'm trying to say has a good message for the most part anyway but I know that there if I kind of really put my head into it then there are things that would be better on the blog and I can still carry on creating content on YouTube so I do want to do that. And then the next one is kind of similar uh, in the creative style. And that is I want to get better on the piano and guitar. I bought Sam a keyboard for Christmas. So there's no excuse now. It's a really cool keyboard and it's got light up keys so it can teach me. Um, I do know how to play, kind of, but I'm not very good. I know what all the notes are um, and I can play a few basic things, but I don't know how to play chords, but I want to get better. 
And it's the same with guitar. Like I've been playing guitar since I was maybe eight, which is a very long time. It's like 24 years. So I should be really good by now. I'm not, I can play, I can play chords. Um, I can play basic strumming patterns. I'm better at picking because I learn classical guitar before I learn um, kind of modern guitar. Ideally, I'd like to spend time each day on both, but that's not practical at all. So if I can spend a bit of time, maybe every other day playing one of them and then kind of build it up, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of time. I need to build up my finger strength again for the guitar. And it's something that I really enjoy and it will help me with my writing as well, my songwriting. Because at the moment I've been doing all of, all of my songwriting on the computer because I find it easier to play the piano on the computer because you can kind of, if you make a mistake, you can kind of fix it. The last one is um, to get stronger. Before I found out I was pregnant, before I broke my rib, I was in a really, not in a really good place, but I was working really hard to get to build my strength up. I was going to the gym maybe like three or four times a week. I was doing aerial silk classes, which I had to give up when I was pregnant. I was building my strength up, not focusing on, okay, I would kind of focus on trying to lose weight and tone up. I really enjoyed the fact that I was getting stronger and it will help my, it won't help my pain, but it means that I'm in a better place. Being as strong as possible means that I'm in a better place. Like for walking, you know, for carrying a human, for doing all of these things, I want to try and do that. I didn't go to the gym for a very, for a good few months because of first of all my rib, um, and then obviously I was in my early stages of pregnancy and I felt very sick. And I've started going again now, and just for Christmas I did really well, and I went every other day for about 10 days, and I haven't been for about a week because I've been looking after Dexter and I've not really felt up to it. But I enjoy going to the gym. There's the physical and mental, benefits. I do a little bit of cardio. There's only one machine, cardio machine, that I can go on with my legs and my feet. Um, so I do kind of a warm up on that and then I use all the weight machines and I do some free weights. Um, I can't do anything that kind of involves any pressure through my feet or any weight through my feet. So I do a lot with my arms and, <clears throat> and my core. Well, I was doing a lot with my core before I was pregnant. Um, and then I do like some leg stuff that's like sitting and doesn't involve my feet and I really enjoy doing that. I want to get back to that and ideally, I'd love to do something like yoga or Pilates, but it's really hard trying to find somewhere that would accommodate my disabilities because I can't wait there for very long and it's painful. And also, if you have to bend your feet in certain positions, I can't do that, so I just kind of do my own thing for now. It was working for me, so I'm hoping that when after the baby's born I can kind of build back up to that slowly. That is kind of what I want to aim for and my goals for 2018. Let me know what you plan on doing if you have any resolutions or if there's anything you want to focus on this year as I said. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and check out my pregnancy and baby related channel which is called Beanie Me and I'll link that down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye!